It's summer y'all and it is hot. So I asked my pediatrician, you know, what are some good ways that I can protect my baby's skin? Because Rhett's skin is translucent. This kid is pale. So now that he is beyond six months, it is safe to put sunscreen on him according to the AAP. So we got some baby sunscreen and I think that they say now it doesn't really matter that it's 50 or 30 or 25 as long as you're reapplying it every two hours. That's what's important. So we've always put sunscreen on our kids right before we leave the house and that way by the time we get wherever we're going it has pretty much sunk in and it's ready to do its job. Another big thing are just wearing hats. Knox didn't love wearing a baseball cap at first but we really needed him to be protected and a build cap really does shade his face. So my husband just started wearing a baseball cap every time we went out and Knox did want to be like daddy and now he loves to wear his cap. He wears it everywhere he goes. The same thing happened with sunglasses. We were wearing ours and Jared and I were like man you look good in those sunglasses dad. And he'd be like, yeah, mom, I love your sunglasses. And we let Knox go to the store and pick out his very own pair. That's kind of what worked for us. And then we always have a pair of flip-flops or Crocs or something stuffed under the stroller in case we show up somewhere where there's water. And a lot of playgrounds have water and sprinklers. And then with the summer comes this beautiful, bright sun. <laughs> and it shines right in their bedroom. So we got blackout curtains. And a lot of my friends said I should get blackout shades as well. but. What I did is this really classy technique of taping black garbage bags to the window. <laughs> it may not look good, but it does the trick. My pediatrician told me that babies like Rhett can't really control their own body temperature. Or maybe you think it feels hot outside and so their body might try to cool down but then it overcompensates and gets too cool. So even when it's hot to kind of have layers with you. I always dress my kids how I'm dressed. So if I'm wearing a t-shirt and shorts, that's what my kids wear, but supposedly I should also have um, something to cover them up. The last thing that we've really had to do is what my pediatrician really, really told me about at Rhett's six month checkup was to make sure we all drink a lot more water. And you forget that. You know, sometimes I'll change Rhett's diaper and I'm like, man, this is, I expected this to be full. Like, he hasn't hardly peed any. And I'm like, oh, he's not drinking enough. I need to nurse him more or he's old enough now that I need to start giving him some water. And he doesn't take a bottle and he doesn't take a sippy cup so I'm working with him a lot on a sippy but what has worked this week I started was to take a straw and I'll just put my I'll just put the straw in a cup of water and put my finger on it and then put it in his mouth and he opens that little mouth like a little baby bird he's like and I like put the water in and he loves it so you know whatever I have to do to keep him from getting dehydrated that's what I'm gonna do so I know you guys have a lot more tips on how to get through this blazing hot summer so leave me some comments in the section below and make sure to subscribe to my channel you don't want to miss one and you can always find me on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest thanks y'all stay cool